My beloved child, I want you to know that the promises I have made to you are true, certain, and unwavering. Every word I speak holds life, and what I declare shall come to pass. There is no room for doubt, for the plans I have set for you are beyond what your mind can comprehend. Even when the world seems uncertain, I am the anchor that keeps you secure. You may have faced battles that felt too difficult to bear, moments where darkness seemed overwhelming, and times when hope felt distant. But I assure you those trials were not in vain. They were shaping you, refining you like gold tested in fire. You were never alone, for my presence was always with you, guiding you through each storm. I am aware of your tears, the silent cries you've kept hidden from others. Every tear is seen, every prayer is heard. Nothing is too insignificant for me. I am working all things together for your good, even when you cannot see the outcome. Trust that the doors I open are meant for you, designed specifically to lead you into greater blessings and purpose. The time has come for a shift, a turning point that will redefine the way you experience my love and my power. I'm not just opening a door, I'm making a way where there seemed to be no way. Opportunities are manifesting that will bring clarity and direction. I urge you to step forward boldly, without hesitation or fear. This is not the season to shrink back, but to move ahead with full assurance that I am orchestrating each detail for your benefit. As you step into this new chapter, understand that your strength is not your own. It comes from me and it will sustain you through every endeavor. Rely not on your understanding, for it is limited, but lean on me entirely. The world may try to discourage you, but I have already declared victory over your circumstances. Your faith is about to be rewarded, not because of your efforts alone, but because of my faithfulness. What you are about to witness is the fulfillment of my promises, each one coming to life in its appointed time. Do not be swayed by the opinions of others or the negativity that tries to steal your joy. You are chosen, set apart, and destined for greatness that surpasses human comprehension. The doors that have remained closed for so long are now being unlocked. Barriers that once stood in your way are crumbling. I am breaking chains, releasing you from past limitations, and calling you into a future that is filled with hope. You have waited patiently, and now your waiting is over. The blessings that are coming will not be temporary. They are meant to establish a lasting impact on your life and those around you. Your dreams, those visions I placed in your heart long ago, are not forgotten. They are now aligning with my divine timing. Everything you've prayed for, everything you've hoped for, is aligning according to my will. It is a season of manifestation, a time of receiving, and a moment of stepping into the fullness of your calling. Do not let fear hold you back. The power within you is greater than any challenge you may face. I have given you authority, and with that authority comes the ability to overcome every obstacle. You are equipped, my child, fully prepared for what lies ahead. Stand firm, be courageous, and know that I am with you always, guiding every step, every decision, and every move you make. I have called you for such a time as this, not by accident, but by divine design. Each day has been carefully woven into the greater purpose I have set for you. The circumstances you face now are not hindrances. They are steps toward fulfilling the destiny I have prepared. You may not always understand why certain events unfold, but trust that they are leading you to a deeper revelation of who I am and who you are in me. When you feel weak, know that my strength is perfected in those moments. You are not alone in your struggles. I am beside you, bearing your burdens and giving you the resilience needed to press forward. You are being prepared, strengthened, and molded into a vessel that can hold the magnitude of blessings I am about to pour into your life. Look around you and you will see the signs of my handiwork. The small victories you experience are not mere coincidences. They are reminders that I am actively working in your favor. 
Even when circumstances seem bleak, I am there, shifting the atmosphere in ways that are not immediately visible but profoundly impactful. Keep your focus on me, for my vision is clearer than your own. This moment is not just about you. It is about what I am accomplishing through you. Your life is a testimony, a living epistle that others are reading every day. Your faithfulness, even in the face of adversity, inspires those around you. You may not see it, but others are watching and being encouraged by your perseverance. Your journey is paving the way for others to find hope, courage, and belief in my promises. My beloved, do not be discouraged by delays. I am not slow in keeping my promises, as some understand slowness. Rather, I am patient, orchestrating everything to fall into place at the perfect moment. The delays you experience are not denials. They are merely pauses, allowing the necessary elements to align according to my will. Trust that my timing is perfect and that my ways are higher than your ways. I see the desires of your heart, the unspoken wishes, and the silent prayers. I am attentive to them all. Nothing is hidden from me. I know when to bring fulfillment and when to withhold for a greater good. The waiting may seem long, but it is always for a purpose. The outcome I have planned for you will exceed your expectations, for I am able to do immeasurably more than all you ask or imagine. This season of confirmation is a time of breaking new ground. You are being called to walk paths you have never walked before, to enter territories that seemed out of reach. But with me, all things are possible. I am removing obstacles, leveling mountains, and creating a smooth path ahead. You may not see every step clearly, but know that each step forward is ordained by me. I am not just giving you opportunities, I am giving you authority. You have the power to speak life, to declare victory, and to bring about change through the words I have given you. Do not underestimate the power of your declarations, for they hold weight in the spiritual realm. Speak boldly, for the words you release will not return void. As you move forward, I want you to focus on gratitude. Be thankful for what you have now, for it opens the door to even greater blessings. A grateful heart attracts favor, abundance, and joy. When you are grateful, you acknowledge my goodness, and that acknowledgement creates space for more of my presence in your life. You are not defined by your past mistakes or failures. Your identity is rooted in me, in the love I have for you. I do not hold your sins against you. They have been forgiven, washed away by my sacrifice. You are a new creation, redeemed, and set free from the chains that once bound you. Embrace this freedom and walk confidently in the identity I've given you. I understand the battles within your mind, the doubts and the fears that sometimes cloud your thoughts. But remember, I have given you a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. Cast down every thought that exalts itself against the knowledge of who I am and who I say you are. Meditate on my words, for they bring peace that surpasses all understanding. The doors that are opening before you will not just bring personal fulfillment. They will have a ripple effect on those around you. You are blessed to be a blessing. The favor I am bestowing upon you is meant to overflow into the lives of others, creating a chain reaction of my love and goodness. Be generous with what I give you, for in giving, you will receive even more. Do not allow the opinions of others to dictate your steps. People may not always understand what I am doing in your life, and that is okay. You are not called to please people, but to fulfill the mission I have entrusted to you. Keep your eyes fixed on me, for I am the author and finisher of your faith. I am the one who guides, the one who provides, and the one who completes the work I began in you. As you enter this new chapter, remember that it is not by your might or power, but by my spirit that you will succeed. Depend on me fully, for I am your source of strength, wisdom, and provision. You may encounter challenges along the way, but they will not defeat you. 
I have already secured the victory, and you are walking in that assurance. The confirmations you are receiving now are only the beginning. There is more to come, more revelations, more breakthroughs, and more manifestations of my promises. Stay expectant, for expectation creates the atmosphere for miracles. Keep your heart open, your spirit willing, and your mind aligned with my truth. I am calling you to embrace this new season with boldness and unwavering faith. You have been prepared for this very moment, and nothing has been overlooked in the process. The challenges you faced were not meant to defeat you, but to equip you with the wisdom and strength needed for what lies ahead. As you stand on the threshold of this new beginning, know that you are ready, capable and fully equipped to seize the opportunities that I am placing before you. Do not be afraid to dream bigger, my child. The dreams that I have planted within you are not mere fantasies. They are divine seeds waiting to be nurtured and cultivated. You have the potential to bring forth great fruit, not only for your own life, but for the lives of those around you. Your obedience and faith will be a beacon of hope, illuminating the path for others who are searching for the same light that has guided you. In this new chapter, you will encounter divine connections, people who are sent to uplift, support, and propel you forward. These relationships are not by chance. They are orchestrated by me to enhance your journey. Be discerning, for not everyone who enters your life is meant to stay. Some are there for a season, while others are meant to walk alongside you for a lifetime. Listen to my voice, and I will reveal who is meant to be part of your journey. I want you to let go of past disappointments, for they are no longer relevant in the new season I am bringing you into. The past may have left scars, but those scars are reminders of my healing and my grace. They do not define your future. Rather, they are testimonies of my faithfulness in bringing you through. Release the weight of regret, for I am doing a new thing, and the old has passed away. Your provision is secure in me. You will not lack, for I am your provider. I see your needs even before you ask, and I am already working to supply them. You do not need to strive or struggle. Rest in the knowledge that I am your source. In times of uncertainty, draw closer to me, for I am your refuge and fortress. You will find peace, even in the midst of chaos, when you dwell in my presence. I want you to focus on speaking life, the words you release have power, and they shape the reality around you. Be mindful of what you say, for your words can either build up or tear down. Choose to speak blessings, encouragement, and hope. Even in the face of adversity, declare my promises, for they are your foundation. The power of life and death is in your tongue. Use it wisely to create the future I have promised you. As you move forward, you will experience moments of supernatural favor. Doors that were once closed will suddenly open, and you will find yourself in places you never imagined possible. This favor is not just for your benefit, it is a sign of my hand upon your life, a testament to my love and commitment to you. Be a good steward of this favor, using it to bless others and further the kingdom work I have called you to. I am asking you to remain humble in the midst of these blessings. Remember that it is not by your own strength or wisdom that you have come this far, but by my grace alone. Pride can be a stumbling block, but humility invites more of my presence and favor. Keep your heart pure, your motives aligned with my will, and your focus fixed on me. In doing so, you will continue to experience the fullness of my blessings. You may face opposition, for not everyone will understand the path I have set for you. But do not let this discourage you. Opposition often precedes breakthrough. When you encounter resistance, see it as confirmation that you are on the right path. Stand firm in your faith, for I am with you, and no weapon formed against you shall prosper. You are more than a conqueror, and nothing can separate you from my love. Your faithfulness in the little things has not gone unnoticed. I see every act of kindness, 
every moment of sacrifice, and every step of obedience. These small acts, though seemingly insignificant, have prepared you for the greater things to come. Continue to be faithful, for I reward those who diligently seek me and honor my ways. Your reward is not only in the life to come, but also in this life. As you continue to grow, you will find yourself facing new challenges. These challenges are not meant to overwhelm you, but to stretch your faith and expand your capacity to receive even more of what I have in store. Do not fear these tests, for I am with you, guiding you and providing the strength you need to overcome. Each victory will build your confidence, not in yourself, but in my unchanging nature. I desire for you to walk in freedom, freedom from fear, from guilt, from condemnation and from the chains of the past. I have set you free, and whom I set free is free indeed. Embrace this liberty, for it is a gift that comes from knowing me intimately. As you grow in understanding of who I am, you will find that your identity is not based on what you have done, but on who you are in me. Your prayers are powerful, my child. Do not underestimate the impact of your intercession. When you pray, heaven moves. Your prayers have the ability to change situations, alter destinies, and bring about miracles. Continue to pray fervently, for I am listening and responding. Your persistence in prayer is not in vain. It is building a foundation for the miracles you have been waiting for. Be patient, for patience produces character, and character produces hope. This hope is not based on earthly things, but on the eternal promises I have given you. Hope is the anchor for your soul, keeping you steady in times of trouble. Do not let go of this hope, for it is a lifeline that connects you to my promises. Even when circumstances seem uncertain, hope will keep you grounded. I am doing a new thing, and I want you to be fully aware of it. Open your eyes to see, your ears to hear, and your heart to receive what I am revealing. This new thing will require a fresh perspective, a renewed mind, and a willing spirit. Do not hold on to the old ways, for I am leading you into uncharted territory, a place of abundance and overflow. Your journey is not over. It has only just begun. The path ahead may have twists and turns, but I am with you every step of the way. Do not fear the unknown, for I am the light that guides you. You are never alone, never abandoned, never forsaken. My love for you is steadfast, and my promises are true. Keep moving forward, my beloved, for there is much more to come. What I have started in you, I will bring to completion. You are part of a greater plan, a story that is still unfolding. Trust the process, trust my timing, and trust my heart. You are loved, cherished, and chosen, and I am proud of the steps you are taking toward fulfilling your destiny. I am bringing you into a place of deeper understanding, a realm where revelation flows freely, and your spirit aligns with my purpose. As you walk this path, do not be distracted by what appears to be setbacks. What may seem like delays are often divine pauses designed to position you for greater outcomes. In the quiet moments, when it seems like nothing is happening, know that I am working behind the scenes, orchestrating events in your favor. I want you to embrace the peace I offer. This peace is not dependent on circumstances, nor can it be shaken by external events. It is a peace that surpasses understanding, anchoring your soul in the assurance that I am in control. In times of uncertainty, draw near to me and let my peace fill your heart and mind. Cast your cares upon me, for I care deeply about every aspect of your life. You are about to experience breakthroughs in areas where you have long awaited change. These breakthroughs will come suddenly, unexpectedly, and with great impact. They are not just answers to prayers, but confirmations of my faithfulness. You have sown seeds of faith, tears, and perseverance, and now the harvest is approaching. It is a season of reaping, a time when the fruits of your labor will be evident for all to see. I am expanding your vision, stretching your capacity to see beyond the natural and into the spiritual. I want you to think bigger, 
to dream without limits, for I am the God of the impossible. Do not allow past failures to restrict your expectations, for I am doing a new thing. The vision I have given you is not just for your benefit, but to impact many. You are a vessel of my love, called to spread my message far and wide. The path may seem narrow, but it leads to abundance. I have called you to a life of holiness, a life that reflects my character and love. This calling requires surrender, a willingness to let go of anything that hinders your relationship with me. As you draw closer, you will find joy, fulfillment, and purpose that cannot be found anywhere else. My presence is the source of true life, and in my presence, you will find fullness of joy. Your faith is like a mustard seed, small yet powerful. It has the potential to move mountains, shift atmospheres, and bring about miracles. Do not despise the days of small beginnings, for every step of faith you take is significant. Even the smallest act of trust in me can lead to extraordinary results. Nurture your faith, water it with my word, and watch as it grows into something beyond what you imagined. You are not defined by your past, nor are you limited by it. I have made all things new. The old has passed away and you are a new creation, redeemed and restored. Do not let shame or guilt hold you back, for I have already paid the price for your freedom. Walk in this freedom with your head held high, for you are my beloved, and I take delight in you. You are clothed in righteousness, covered by my grace, and set apart for a holy purpose. I want you to know that you are precious to me. Your worth is not determined by what you do, but by who you are in me. You are my child, loved beyond measure and cherished beyond understanding. Nothing you can do will make me love you less, and nothing you achieve will make me love you more. My love is unconditional, unchanging, and everlasting. Rest in this truth, for it is the foundation upon which your life is built. You are entering a time of restoration, where what was lost will be returned, and what was broken will be healed. The wounds of the past will no longer define you, for I'm bringing complete healing. The process may not be easy, but it is necessary for you to step into the fullness of what I have prepared. Trust that every tear, every prayer, and every act of faith is contributing to your restoration. I am giving you a new boldness, a courage that is rooted in my love and my promises. This boldness will enable you to speak truth, to stand firm in your beliefs, and to proclaim my name without fear. Do not be intimidated by those who oppose you, for I am your defender. I go before you, making crooked paths straight, leveling mountains, and clearing the way for you to fulfill your calling. You are not alone in this journey. I have placed people around you who will support, encourage, and uplift you. These relationships are gifts, meant to strengthen you and remind you of my presence in your life. Be open to receiving help, for it is often through others that I extend my grace. Community is essential, and I have designed it so that you do not have to walk alone. The trials you have faced have not been in vain. They have refined you, teaching you resilience, humility, and trust. What the enemy meant for harm, I have used for good. You are stronger, wiser, and more equipped than ever before. Your story is a testament to my power and grace, and it will inspire others to seek me, to find hope in their own situations, and to believe that I am able to do exceedingly abundantly above all they ask or think. I am calling you to a life of prayer. It is through prayer that you will find clarity, direction, and peace. Your prayers have the power to shift situations, break strongholds, and bring about change. Do not underestimate the impact of your prayers, for they are powerful and effective. As you pray, remember that I am not distant. I am near, listening and responding to your heart's cry. The doors of opportunity that are opening for you are not just for personal gain, but for kingdom advancement. You are called to be a light in the darkness, a beacon of hope to those who are lost and searching. Use these opportunities to share my love, to bring healing, and to spread the good news of my salvation. Your life is a living testimony, a reflection of my love and grace. 
You have been chosen, not because of your abilities, but because of your willingness to follow me. I see your heart, your desire to serve, and your commitment to my word. These are the qualities I cherish, and they are the reason I have entrusted you with this mission. Continue to walk in obedience, for there is greater glory ahead. You may feel unworthy at times, but know that I have made you worthy. My sacrifice has covered you, and my blood has cleansed you. You are no longer a slave to sin, but a child of God, redeemed and sanctified. Live in this truth, for it is the key to unlocking your destiny. You are free, forgiven, and loved beyond measure. As you journey forward, remember that my grace is sufficient for you. In your weakness, my strength is made perfect. Do not rely on your own understanding, but lean on me, for I am your rock, your fortress, and your deliverer. I am the one who sustains you, who gives you breath, and who holds your future in my hands. I want you to know that my promises are yes and amen. They are not dependent on circumstances, nor are they subject to change. What I have spoken will come to pass, for my word does not return void. Stand firm in this truth, for it is the foundation of your faith. Amen.